Jakku? Why do you want me to go to Jakku? Well, first and foremost, because I said so. But more importantly, because Lor Santeca got back in touch. Poe, he has the map. The map that leads to Luke Skywalker? On Jakku. That's... surprising. There's nothing out there but old rusted out starships. I think it's perfect. The Empire ended on Jakku. Now the end of the First Order will come from the same place. I'll rustle up Black Squadron and we'll head out right away. Just give me the coordinates. No, Poe. I'd like you to go by yourself. This is the most sensitive mission I've ever given you. You don't trust my team? After everything they've done for the Resistance? Of course I do, but I also don't want to draw any attention to this situation. None. One X-Wing showing up on Jakku could mean anything. No one will look too hard. For word would get around. The First Order wants this map as badly as we do. We can't let them know we've found it. This might be our only chance to get ahead of them. To get an advantage. You got it, General. I'll be in and out before anyone knows I'm there. This'll be easy. I'm really gonna miss you, BB-8. This will begin to make things right. But you cannot deny the truth. That is your family. You are so right. Who talks first? You talk first? I talk first. FN-2187. Submit your blaster for inspection. Yes, Captain. I had no idea we had the best pilot in the Resistance on board. This is a rescue. I'm helping you escape. You need a pilot. I need a pilot. FN, huh? Finn, I'm gonna call you Finn, is that alright? Finn. Yeah! Finn, I like that! That droid has a map that leads straight to Luke Skywalker. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I go! Eject! Why won't you eject? Oh. Why is such a lovely human alone all the way out here? Just lost. Could use some help. You want help? On Jakku? How you pay me? Nothing for nothing. That's the planet's motto. I'm sorry, man. All I've got are the clothes on my back. I've... I've been through a rough time. And I haven't. I'm a scavenger. Like everyone here, if you have nothing for me to scavenge, maybe I just scavenge you. But I don't think you have nothing. I think you'll find something out here. Something you want to keep secret. Maybe you'll tell me what it is. Maybe I don't kill you. Okay, look. I'm too tired to even make something up. I'm gonna level with you. I'm with the Resistance. I just escaped from the First Order. Big Star Destroyer, up in orbit? I stole one of their TIE Fighters, shot up their command ship, and crash landed not far from here. That's the truth. You help me get safe? The Resistance will make sure you're compensated. Sure. I don't believe any of that. And even if it were true, sounds like an awful lot of trouble. Okay, how about this? You help me? Maybe sometime I can help you. Or maybe someone else helps you when you need it. Maybe nothing for nothing isn't exactly the best way to live, you know?
Maybe it's not. Here, some water. Get aboard. I take you to town, then you on your own. But tell me more lies about the Resistance. A few good stories to pass the time. Between you and me. It gets boring out here. And so there was this giant egg. And when it hatched, these huge creatures came out. Creatures! Surprise twist! What they look like- Whoa! Oh no, Struss Clan! They gonna take this speeder! This all I got! So go faster! This as fast as it goes! Okay, listen. You gotta let me drive. You crazy! Why I do that? Because you have nothing to lose. They'll get you anyway. And hey, for all you know, I'm the best pilot in the galaxy. What are you doing? You're slowing down! They'll catch us! And that's the idea. Can you communicate that you're planning to surrender? But I am planning to surrender! Maybe they just kill you! Can't believe I wasted water on you! That's it. A little bit closer. No! Ah! What are you doing? Flying. Go! Go! Get getting away! Can't, boss. Intake's caught. We're dead in the sand. Good enough. Let's get out of here. Okay. You can keep driving. Naka dropped me off at a way station called Blowback Town. Not really a town, though. Tiny. Like two shacks in a tent. A friend of his lived there. Another Belarian named Ongas. He had a starship. He was a good guy. Agreed to get me off planet once I convinced him I was really resistance. But I had to make another stop first. Niima Outpost. The big city. Flew away in Ongas' ship. He even let me pilot it. Big honor, seemed like. He called it the beloved Bofin. Although, I never found out why. So it was like, bye bye Jakku. Hope that's the last time I see you. I dropped on Goss off to do some business on Nashida, while he let me borrow his ship to head back to the Resistance base. Pretty trusting guy, but he really believes in our cause. Anyway, I was glad to be back, but I was dreading reporting to Leia. General Organa, there's no easy way to say this. I lost the map, and Lor Santeca was killed by the First Order. They took me prisoner, but I escaped with the help of a stormtrooper who turned on them. In other words, disaster. I tried to apologize. I told her that there was still a chance that Bibi had the map, although I had no idea where he was. Leia let me explain all the ways I'd failed her. Failed the resistance, failed the galaxy. She just listened. Just let me talk. She's good like that. And then she dropped the bomb. Your droid is on Takodana. Leia Organa. She'll surprise you every time. Isn't that Mos Kanata's place? Yep. Two people just walked right in with him. We got a call from one of 3PO's operatives stationed there. GA-97. But we need to move, Poe. The First Order has a bounty out for BB. And you know the kind of scoundrels that hang out at Malice's palace. If we know where your droid is... You can bet the First Order does, too. Go! Go! Quiet, go. Go straight at him! Don't let these thugs scare you! That's one hell of a pilot! Whoa! So, what is this thing supposed to be, Jess? It's a ship, Snap. Are you sure? Because I don't see an engine. I don't see any weapons. Hardly any electronics or controls. There's a seat, though. 
Maybe it's a chair? Is this a chair, Jess? A really odd chair. No, Kari. It's a ship. It doesn't have an engine because it doesn't need one. This assembly attaches to the belly of an X-Wing. It gets all of its velocity from the parent ship. And then gravity. So, it just falls. All right, that's enough. General Organa ordered us to find a way to do a recon run on the First Order's home base, or superweapon, or whatever it is. All we know is that it'll have security, and fighters, and turbolasers, and missile emplacements and scanners like nothing we've ever seen. A normal fighter run would be suicide, so I built this. It's mostly mechanical. No engines so they won't pick up any energy signature, no weapons because they're heavy and this thing needs to speed. It has a scanner package, comms, life support, and a mag field generator to make it look even smaller than it is. Means we can't use a droid pilot, but with any luck, if the First Order picks it up, they'll just think it's a meteor. X-Wing carries it out there, lets it go, it glides down just above their shield, runs the scan, then skims across to the other side of the atmosphere for pickup. Easy. (laughs) Not easy, Jess. Impossible. It's all I could come up with. And we're out of time. If we can't find a weakness, the First Order will destroy any system it wants. Anyway, it's not your problem. I built the pod, I'll make the run. I just need one of you to fly me out there. Now who's it gonna be? Whoa! You are right down there, Sam? Yeah, just a little exposed in this thing. We're almost there. You mean the part where you dropped me? Not sure that makes things much better. Okay, change of subject. You think Jess was offended that you and I insisted on doing this run? Uh, She'll figure it out. If we don't have much time left, I don't much want to spend any of it apart. You and me both. Okay. We're here. Detaching in five. Good luck, love. Don't worry. Remember, Jess said this be easy. Recon part away. Be on the other side. Before you know it. Akari, love you too. Autolog system activated. This is Captain Snap Wexley, commencing reconnaissance run on the First Order base. Deploying stabilizers. Running steady. Safe distance above the shield. This thing is... It's just huge. It looks like they've reconfigured an entire planet into... I... I just don't know. Good news is that the mag field just built into the pod seems to be working. No one's seen me yet. Getting some pretty rough air up here. I'm going to turn on the scanning system and let it do the work while I concentrate on uh, staying alive. Whoa! This is some touch and go flying. Feels like it's getting hot in here too. Don't know if it's a problem with life support or. Oh no. I've got a problem with the pod's heat cladding. Best guess is the mag fields interact with the upper levels of the planet's shield. Got a lot of energy building up. I'll try and hold it together until the scan's complete. And then... Oh, blast it! Scans... complete. Carrie, come in. You... read. I'm here, Snap. You get the scan? I did. But... The pod's overheating. Air in here? Like an oven. Just gonna transmit all of this up to you. While I still can. No! Do not do that! Encrypted comms are one thing, but if you send a data burst that big, they'll pick it up for sure. They'll send fighters to check it out. I don't have a choice, babe. I haven't told you the worst part. The docking assembly. Must have burned off in the heat. Even if I could get to you, no way to slow me down. No way to get me home. No, no! Do not transmit that data. You get yourself up here. Kari, I'm flaring like a comet. Even if I'm not on their scanners, they're bound to just see me. They haven't seen you yet. What was it Leia said every high sneeze? Luck. And you haven't run out yet. There's 
about time. Sending data. Snap, Wexley! We have not been married long enough for you to make me a widow! And if you hit that transmit button, I swear I will divorce you! Okay. I'm... I'm coming. Oh, damn right you are. I'm away, Carrie. I can't believe they didn't see me. The pot's cooling down, too. What I tell you. Luck. Yeah, but I'm not feeling real great about the structural integrity of this thing. And I can't get out, and there's no way to slow down. No engines, remember? Have a little faith, Snap. Hey, look out! You're going to- Activating S-foils. <laughs> ah, I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> I can. Poe Dameron, <laughs> never heard of him. I'm the best pilot in this outfit. Huh. I'll decelerate gradually. Make sure that thing can survive a jump to light speed. If not, we'll call for a pickup. You don't seem happy, Snap. You're alive. Seems like you should be happy. No, yeah, I am, of course. It's just... I was down there. I saw Starkiller, up close. Unless we want to just give the galaxy to the First Order. I think we have to destroy it. It'll take every ship we have. Every pilot. And I hate to say it, but I don't think most of us will make it back. Ray, may the force be with you. We just gone up against a planet, a planet killing planet, and we beat it. Sure, we'd taken losses, big ones, Han Solo even, but considering none of us expected to live out the day, we were feeling okay. We weren't thinking too much about what came next. We were just relieved. Some of us were even pretty happy, I think. It didn't last very long. Oh dear. General Organa, please come to the command center as soon as you possibly can. We seem to have a bit of an emergency. How did they regroup so quickly? Does it matter, Admiral Statora? No, not one bit. How much time do we have, 3PO? Very little, General. The First Order will be here before we know it, I'm afraid. All right. They seem to be pretty ticked off about that planet of theirs we destroyed. This base is unshielded. If the First Order brings enough firepower, they could turn this place to ash. We need to leave right now. Order the evacuation. It won't work. There's not enough time to get everyone away before the First Order gets here. But I have an idea. I'm listening. It's pretty simple. I go up in Black One. I hold them off long enough for the rest of you to get away. I mean it. These First Order commanders have planet-sized egos. If I go up there, right in front of their faces, they'll all come after me right away. Even better, they'll all be competing with each other, doing everything they can to make sure it's their ship that picks me off. But you'll never survive, Damron! Don't count me out. I'll be a tiny target for those big cannons of theirs. They'll never hit me. And if I fly close to the Star Destroyers, maybe I can make them do some damage to each other too. Commander Dameron, we all know what this means, and we'll do everything we can to even the odds for you. We are grateful. Your plan is approved, and may the Force be with you. Everyone else, prepare to evacuate the base. Use every shuttle and take only what we need. Combat ships are a priority, including the bomber wing. We'll need them. A-wings, you're on primary defense duty for the fleet. Go, people! For the record, Poe, I think this is a terrible idea. This booster is experimental. I don't think Goss Tower's maintenance teams even tested it once. I know that, Jess. But this is the best terrible idea we've got. Don't worry about it. I just want to know how fast I can go when I turn it on. 
if it works. Too fast for the First Order cannons to lock on, the booster burn won't last long, eats fuel like crazy, but if it works, yeah, really fast. Then again, if you explode, I bet you'll be going even faster. Huh. They didn't test it even once? Don't worry, Poe. If you blow up, we'll just finish the mission for you. Wait, snap, no. That's not the plan. No arguments. No way we let you do this alone. We're coming along. Yeah, I'm in too. This is a Black Squadron thing. I'm sorry, all of you, but that won't be possible. Poe will be flying alone. <laughs> Don't worry, pal. She doesn't mean you. You'll be right there with me. No breaking up this team. Respectfully, General Organa, I think the Ace and X's will be able to protect the fleet. And Black Squadron works really well as a unit. I'm sure that's true, Captain Wexley. But I need the rest of you for something else. The destruction of Hosnian Prime was just an opening move for the First Order. You need to reach out to our allies to gather help before Snoke consolidates his power across the galaxy. This mission is crucial. It's possible that no one else on this base will survive the day. But if you four succeed, the Resistance will live. The Resistance had just succeeded in destroying the First Order's super weapon, Starkiller Base. I was part of the strike team that took it down, and I'll be honest, we were all a little shocked we pulled it off. Twelve X-Wings against a... planet. I mean, yeah. We didn't have much time to celebrate, though. The First Order sent a battle group to retaliate. The Resistance was evacuating. We thought we'd be assigned to protect the fleet, but General Organa gave us another mission. She sent us... to find help. We were supposed to gather allies, to bring new systems into the Resistance. We thought it'd be easy. Now the First Order had shown its true colors by destroying the Hoggian system. It was not. It never is. We had Snap Wexley at Black Leader. This doesn't feel right. Flying away, safe and sound, when the entire Resistance is about to run for their lives. His wife, Kare Kuhn, at Black 2. It's orders, Snap. Straight from Leia Organa. This is important. I know that, babe. Doesn't mean it feels good. Me at Black 3. Don't worry about the fleet, Snap. They're getting out in plenty of time. And they've got the Radis and Incredible Commanders. Organo, Haldo, Akbar, Daturo. We'll see them at the rendezvous soon enough. What's the worst that could happen? And then Sir Alinda Javos at Black 4. You did not just say that, Jess. The bad luck spirits just broke up their ears. But we've got good ships and good people. What more do we need? I wasn't so sure about her. She was pretty new to the team, ex-Navy, even though we'd seen some action together, and Poe vouched for her. She just seemed a little... flexible, you know? Like the only team she really cared about was Team Sura. But, I'll admit, it was nice to have an A-Wing back in the squadron. Only thing we were missing was Poe. He stayed behind, had some insane plan to take on three Star Destroyers all by himself to buy time for the evacuation. Crazy, obviously. But then again, Poe Dammer's the best pilot in the galaxy. Just ask him. We've caught them in the middle of their evacuation. All right, taking out the cannons now. Cali, start your approach. Copy that. The last transport's in the air. The evacuation is complete. You did it, Poe. Now get your squad back here so we can get out of this place. No, General, we can do this. We have a chance to take out a dreadnought. These things are fleet killers. We can't let it get away. Disengage now, Commander. That is an order. Our first stop was an outer rim planet called Pistoria. Not the strongest world militarily, but they had fuel resources we could use, and their ruler was influential. Everyone knows him. If he threw in with the resistance, other systems would follow. It didn't hurt that Pistoria was maybe the most beautiful planet I've ever seen. What do you guys make of this? Looks like they were attacked. Recently. First Order, maybe? If the First Order is here, they'd already be trying to shoot us down. I think this is something else. We'll find out soon enough. Cut the chatter. Looks like they sent us an escort. Huh. 
Wait, Snap? I think that was the king. He came himself. <laughs> Are we that important? I don't know, Carrie. We radioed ahead to let them know we were coming. But yeah, a little surprising. Anyway, wish me luck. There's a reason I'm a pilot, not a diplomat. Don't sell yourself short. After all, he convinced me to marry you. Welcome, my friends, welcome. King Sirak, my name is Captain Snap Wexley. It's an honor, your majesty. Nonsense! The honor is mine. Representatives of Organa's fabled resistance on my planet? Truly, a fair wind brought you here. Uh, yeah, it sure did. You must be tired after your journey. I will have refreshments brought. I think we're all right, Your Majesty. And honestly, the reason we're here is a little time sensitive. Absolutely, Captain Wexley. I agree. Let's get this out of the way right now. I am not ignorant of the First Order's designs on the galaxy. After all, just look at what they did to the Hosnian system. A brutal, terrible act. They showed us all who they are. Leia Organa was right about everything. Wait, is this actually going to be easy? Let's just wait and see, Jess. He hasn't actually said anything real yet. It's a huge relief to hear you say that, Your Majesty. General Organa knows how much weight your voice carries, and she's hoping to convince more systems to fight the First Order. Oh, you flatter me. I'm just a little breeze. Your Majesty, with respect, you misjudge your importance. People listen to you. You're known for exceptional reason and judgment. Oh, um, I'm Kare Khan. Sorry to interrupt. Not at all, my dear. I understand. These subjects inspire great passion. This isn't a request for military aid. We understand the Pastorians are not equipped to participate in a galactic war. But even a few words from you can make an enormous difference. Just send out a broadcast saying exactly what you just told us about the First Order. Ah, yes. But you see, I am concerned that I am currently in no position to even offer such meager aid as you request. As you see, we have troubles of our own. And here it comes. What do you mean? In my experience, kings don't do anything for free. That's how they stay kings. We have been suffering from a rash of attacks by a group of terrorists seeking to depose me. Aggressive, uncivilized, warlike people. The reasons are complex and culturally specific. I do not expect you to take the time to understand them. However, I'm sure you will agree that my voice will carry little weight in the galaxy if I'm no longer king. Your assistance in this matter would be very welcome. And... There it is. I... I'm not sure how we could help with that. If you're asking us to attack political rivals without really understanding why, well... Oh, no, no! Nothing like that! I would never! Here is what I propose. This is Colonel Squill. He will take one of our transports through a region these terrorists have claimed as their own. If your squadron could simply fly escort alongside my security team, I think it would send the right message. A message that King Cyrok has powerful friends. Ben! Ben, buddy! It's so good to see you. Where's Ray? Master Skywalker. Does the king think we're idiots? He told us as little as he possibly could. I hate this. No one likes it, Jess. This is how Sirok operates, according to his reputation. He just gets people to do what he wants. It's what makes him so valuable to the Resistance. What he did to us, maybe he can do to the galaxy. Just keep your eyes open, everyone. Once we figure out what's actually going on, then we decide whether to be a part of it. Maybe this is an escort mission. I like their positive attitude, Black Leader, but I'm starting to have my doubts. War Factorian ships are dead ahead, and that sure looks like an attack for the mission to me. This is Black Leader to Colonel Swill. Looks like we have additional Pastorian fighters incoming on a fairly aggressive vector. 
What is this? What's happening? What does it look like, Black Leader? An unprovoked attack! Colonel Squill to all units. Defend the transport. Black Leader, what are your orders? Hold position, Black Three. We're just here to fly escort. We didn't agree to get involved in any fight. Snap! They're dying out there! Do you think Q Syrup will be all that eager to join the resistance if we just sit here and watch his people burn? Blast it! Black Squadron, engage attackers! We want minimal casualties here. If you can, try to just drive them off. Shoot to disable. Disable? Alright! Let's try a ring shot. Oh! I barely touched it! I'm having the same problem. These Pastorian ships are fragile. Shoot like paper. Looks like they figured that out too. The bad guys are pretty bad. We did our part. Could have been worse. Wait. What are they doing? Xerox fighters. They're just hunting the others down. Shooting them in the back. They're going after the other transport. Strike for it! I see it, Black 2. Let me see what I could do. Uh, Colonel Squill, the enemy threat has been neutralized, but your fighters haven't broken off their attack run, and it looks like that transport's unarmed. Wanna fill us in on your strategy? Thank you for your help, Black Leader. We'll take it from here. Beth? What happened to him? What did we do? I don't know, Kari. But I think we should go find out. Black Squadron, form up on me and return to base. What the hell was that, Sirak? Ah, Captain Wexley. Welcome back. Colonel Squill sent me the engagement report. It seems your mission was an enormous success. Thank you so much. Truly, I am moved. Here, let me embrace you. Enough with hugs, all right? Just tell us what you used us for out there. My duty. You helped me do my duty. You see, I've always been good at knowing which way the wind is blowing. The transport you helped destroy held the primary rival claimant to my throne. My intelligence agents acquired his travel schedule, but I could do nothing with it. He was too well defended, too deep in his own territory. So when your forces showed up with all of us flying alongside, and he sent his fighters over, he wasn't attacking? He was trying to defend from what he thought was an invasion! Yes, and of course, he failed. And he died. You're all just too good. The First Order is coming. I don't know when, but they will come. And when they arrive, I want them negotiating with me. Not some warmongering idiot who would try to resist and undoubtedly get all of us killed. You're a fool. You can negotiate with the First Order. They'll take everything you have and then they'll destroy you. Oh, I don't know. I like to think I know how to get people to do what I want. Most of the time, they have no idea it's even happening. You were never going to help the Resistance? Of course not. The First Order destroyed the Hosnian system with one blow. There is no standing against that. They are a hurricane. Anyone who tries to fight them is either a fool or a maniac. I never promised to help the Resistance. I said I would help you. And I will. First, with full tanks of fuel for your ships. And second, with this advice. Wake up. Feel the way the wind is blowing. Put it at your backs and fly. As far as you can from Lea Organa and her doomed crusade. Snap. What are we going to do now? What the king said. We're gonna fly. What? Where? Right into the wind, babe. No matter how hard it's blowing, right into the wind.
This is Jess Pava of Resistance Black Squadron, pilot designation Black 3. It's the first chance I've had to update my mission log since the disaster on Pastoria. This might be my last transmission for a while. I'm about to do something that's, well, it's just like everything Black Squadron does. Incredibly brave, incredibly important, and incredibly stupid. We should make that the squadron motto. We left Pastoria and headed to the next stop on General Organa's list of potential resistance allies, a mid-rim world called Ikrak. I'll be honest, morale was pretty low. Snap Wexler was commanding the mission, and he was doing what he could to help. All right, pilots. You ready to save the galaxy? Uh... Come on, Kare. Where's the positivity? Sir Alinda, you're feeling good, right? Eh? But he wasn't getting very far. Anyway, we dropped out of hyperspace not far from Ikrek and immediately picked up a distress call. The signal wasn't clear at first, lots of static, but you could tell what it was even before we dialed it in. The tone of voice, the urgency, it all sounded like one thing. Distress. You guys getting this? Any friendly military... This is the planet Ikrek. Grail City under attack by the... This is the planet Ikrukuk. Grail City is under attack by the First Order. They arrived here and told us our system was now under their control. When we declined, they hit us. No warning! We were able to get our shield wall up in time, but our defense grid is down. It is just a matter of time until the First Order gets through. We cannot hold for long. Any resistance forces who receive this message, please, we need your help. Wait, didn't we come here to convince these guys to help us? What should we do? Well... The numbers aren't on our side. It sounded like the First Order brought at least a battalion. We're all they've got, Jess. Did you notice how we barely caught their distress call? The First Order must be jamming their comms. The Ikrook think they're calling the galaxy for help, but their signal can't even get out of the system. No one else is coming. Is this our mission? We went off book at Pastoria, and it all went to hell. I'm all for helping people. But shouldn't we focus on what General Organa asked us to do? It is our mission, babe. It's the whole point of the Resistance. Every one of us has to help whatever little parts of the galaxy we can. Right. Saving one life stands for saving them all. There's another angle too. The First Order attacking here proves that the Hosnian wasn't a one-off. They want the galaxy. I'm sure some systems still have their doubts. I can get some footage. Get a story out. Rally more systems to our side. Noted, Sura. Every bit helps. All right, guys, buckle up. We're going in. Grail City, this is Black Squadron of the Resistance. We're on our way. Oh, thank the light! <sighs> See you, bro. explained what had happened to their defense grid. They had it all. Orbital and ground-based cannons, hunter-killer droids, everything. Ikrook should have been impossible to crack. I think that's why Leia sent us there in the first place. Could have been a huge help to the Resistance. It was all offline, though. A group of First Order sympathizers shut down the grid and killed the engineers who could turn it back on. Fortunately. I know that system. Free tech monetary defense, right? Integrated central processor with multi-hemispheric tracking. Trained on it back in the Navy. If you get me into the command and control room, I can bring it online. That is excellent! 
excellent to hear, pilot. We'll just need to bring you past our shield. When does the rest of your fleet arrive? We're it. You're it? Are you insane? Maybe, but we're here. How can we get inside that shield? Well, we can open a tiny section, enough to slip past, like a gate. But those TIE Fighters will be all over you. We'll only be able to keep it open for a moment. You'll need to be precise. We're Black Squadron, ma'am. Precise, we can do. The city shields are down to 54%, Colonel. Excellent. It's only a matter of time. Picking up incoming fighters. That's all of them? Just four? Hmm. Divert all necessary ties to intercept the lieutenant. I want them destroyed. Tell the pilots that if they manage it before the shield at 50%, I'll put them in for commendations. Let our success here mirror that of the Supreme Leader's victory at Tukong. Of course, Colonel. It will be done. Uh, I guess I'll take the hundred on the left. You know, there is a bright side to this. If we don't make it through, it's an even better story. At least from a resistance public relations standpoint. Four brave heroes perish fighting First Order tyranny in a battle against impossible odds. That's beautiful. This is Black Leader. Everyone ignore everything Sura just said. That is an order. It was a meat grinder. No other word for it. TIE pilots don't mix up their tactics too much. You see the same maneuvers over and over. Don't get me wrong, they can be effective. But not a lot of variation. Guess it's how they're trained. But over Grail City, they were exuberant. Taking risks I'd never seen them take before. I don't know. It's a little hard to describe. It's like they already thought they'd won. Grail City just transmitted the coordinates to where they'll open the gate. It'll happen in 45 seconds. Black 3, Black 4, get out there, now! Coordinates received, Black Leader. But what about you and Kare? We're staying out here. What? Against a heavy cruiser and this many ties? Guys, that- We know, Jess. No need to say it out loud. But every shot they take at us is one less they'll be taken at that shield. We'll buy you as much time as we can. Then let me stay out here, too. Negative, Black 4. It's possible some ties could slip through the shield with you. Your job is to protect Black 3. Make sure she makes it down to Grail City in one piece. If this works, everyone gets out alive. So let's make sure it works. Arguing about who would go through the shield gate used up most of our time to get there. We had our engines at maximum, but timing was looking tight. Keep up, Black 3. We've only got seconds before the gate opens. I'm trying, Sir Linda. Remember, I'm not flying an A-Wing. Wish we hadn't given that blasted booster to Poe. Really could have used it right about now. There it is! Punch it! I'm hit! Got me in the engine! Losing velocity! Sura! I'm not sure I'm gonna- Yes you are, Jessica Baba! I'm not half the pilot you are. If I can get through this blasted gate, so can you. I was down to 30% on the engines, and I had to burn up a lot of my speed banking to get a good approach angle for the gate. It didn't feel right. You can just tell sometimes when a maneuver is not going to work. Sarah could give me all the motivational speeches she wanted, but you can't fight physics. I didn't think I was going to make it. I was right. Made it through. Barely. But I was down half a wing and my engines were almost entirely gone. Now, if you're hearing this, you know I made it to the ground. I didn't crash. But I didn't exactly land, either. It was sort of in between. Whoa. Chris and her team from Grail City met us. Seemed like good people. They'll take us into the command center of the defense grid. They're gearing up, which gave me a minute to record this. Snap and Kare are still holding their own outside the shield, but we need to get this done now. I'll send another report as soon as I can. This is Jessica Pava of Black Squadron, over and out. You know, Ray, if 
things had gone a little differently, we'd have met a long time ago. Probably been sitting right here. A long while back, all four of us headed to bring that Jedi map to Leia. If there's one thing I'm beginning to learn, Poe, it's that you can't dwell on changing the past. Concentrate on the present. Work with what you have. Oh, I know. Just could have avoided a lot of heartache, you know? Considering everything we just went through, it's hard not to think about different paths. Tell you what, if we'd met Ray together, it would have kept me from getting a beat down. Almost knocked my head clean off. I thought you were a thief, Finn. BB said you'd stolen that jacket from his master. What was I supposed to do? Not hit you with my staff? Come on! It was either the jacket or stormtrooper armor. And anyway, I thought Poe was dead. Dead? Come on. I've walked away from tons of crashes. Takes more than that to knock me down. So you're the best pilot in the galaxy. And you crash all the time. There were extenuating circumstances. Every time? Every time. I'm just saying. I don't think I've ever crashed anything I've been flying. Huh. Maybe Ray's the best pilot in the galaxy. All right, all right. But let me say one thing. Finn and I might have crashed, but we both walked away. And that doesn't happen without some pretty fine flying. You know, you never actually told me what happened back there. What? What do you mean? What happened after the crash? All you told me was that you were thrown from the ship. But that's barely anything. I mean, how'd you get off planet? I never told you? Hmm. I guess we haven't had much time to talk. We've all been going in different directions lately. Tell us. Might be a nice distraction. Yeah. It... it might be. Alright. So, General Organa said she had a mission for me. Leia was so sure her brother would just solve everything. Boom, that'd be it. One man with a laser sword. The First Order wants this map as badly as we do. We can't let them know we've found it. This might be our only chance to get ahead of them. To get an advantage. You got it, General. I'll be in and out before anyone knows I'm there. This'll be easy. It was not easy. I had to make a quick detour to pick up BB. I'm really gonna miss you, BB. But I made it to Jakku all right. Man, I love that ship. Anyway, I met up with Lor Senteca, got the map, and then everything went to hell. First Order showed up out of nowhere. Still don't know how they found us. I stashed the map with BB, then went back to do what I could to help. Maybe I should have just flown away. But I couldn't leave Lor Santeca back there defenseless. I just couldn't. Not that it did all that much good. They killed Lor Santeca, burned the village, and that's how I met Kylo Ren. I believe you're both familiar with him. Delightful guy. Real charmer. So, a little light torture, a little time in a cell, and who comes along but my buddy FN2187. You need a pilot. You need a pilot. Finn breaks me out, we steal a TIE fighter and get out of there. It was all going really well, actually. And then it wasn't. I triggered Finn's ejector seat, got him out of there. Oh, you did that? I thought it was automatic, maybe. Nope, you're welcome. Is that how you got out? Ejected? <laughs> I would have if it weren't for that blasted jacket. I thought you loved that thing. Nah, why do you think I gave it to you? Damn thing almost got me killed. <clears throat> eject! Why won't you eject? Oh, it was caught in the ejector mechanism for my seat. <laughs> By the time I got it off, it was too late for that. Anyway, I had to try to fly the ship in, put it down as gently as I could. But it had all that velocity from an orbital descent, and the controls were shot. Fortunately, I'm a great pilot. So we hear. I got thrown clear from the tie as soon as it was crashing. I'll admit, it was mostly just good luck. But it didn't feel like it at the time. I was out for a while. When I woke up, it was night. Couldn't find Finn, couldn't find the crash site, couldn't find anything. All I saw was... Well, you guys know Jakku. Sand. Sand. And junk. Exactly. Whole lot of nothing. I didn't have any water, didn't have any comms, I'd lost BB, didn't know which way to go, 
It was killing me. Everything else hurt too. But you can't let that stop you. Walk through the night into the day. Turns out it gets a lot hotter in the desert when the sun comes up. <laughs> Eventually, I got lucky. Again. Saw a speeder far out in the distance. Hey! Hey there! Didn't know who it was, and at that point, I didn't care. It was a Blurina. Said his name was Nakaite. Oh, you did get lucky. There are some really bad people out in the wastes. Naka's alright, though. Didn't seem like that at first. Naka dropped me off at a way station called Blowback Town. Not really a town, though. Tiny. Like two shacks in a tent. A friend of his lived there. Another Bellaria named Ongas. He had a starship. He was a good guy. Agreed to get me off planet once I convinced him I was really resistance. But I had to make another stop first. Niima Outpost. The big city. Figure that's where I had the best chance of finding my little pal here. Yep, you were long gone. I didn't know that yet, but it didn't take me long to find out. The whole place was talking about the notorious Lady Scavenger and a guy they'd never seen before who'd flown right off planet with my droid. Why, Ray, I think he might be talking about us. Why, Finn, I think he might be. Never really thought of myself as notorious, but I'll take it. So that was it? That was it. Flew away in Angas' ship, didn't even let me pilot it. Big honor, seemed like. He called it the beloved Bofine. Although, I never found out why. So it was like, bye bye Jakku, hope that's the last time I see you. That makes two of us, Poe. Never again. I suppose, three. Always thought I'd go back, but now, I wonder. So that's the story? Thought maybe you'd stolen the ship or something. Nah. I only steal ships from the First Order. That's for the best. Not everyone on Jakku is a good person, but some are. And everyone is barely scraping by, good and bad. He might have ruined someone's life if he'd stolen a ship. You know, just asking, but didn't you two steal this one? Well, that was different. Uh-huh. I dropped on Goss off to do some business on Nashada, while he let me borrow his ship to head back to the Resistance base. Pretty trusting guy. He really believes in our cause. Anyway, I was glad to be back, but I was dreading reporting to Leia. You two might not believe this, but I had never really failed before. Not on that level. What you thinking, Princess? <coughs> oh, I'm alright, Chili. Just... That goes. They keep getting louder, eh? Oh, I know, Fuzzball. I know. Oh, hello, Nine. It's your to do, Amatavia. No, be my guest. I have other work to do. And from what I recall, you have as much right to the co pilot's seat on the Falcon as anyone. That battle on Takodana. That was something else. It was the first time the Resistance had gone up against the First Order. For real, I mean. I'd shot down my share of ties before that. I have a special missions team, Black Squadron, and we'd have some tangles. But this felt different. We were out in the open where everyone could see. Everyone in Mos Kanata's castle, watching the Resistance protect them from those First Order goons. Go straight at them! Don't let these thugs scare you! It gave us all this energy, I think. This <clears throat> I took down nine ties in one run. Nine! And a bunch of ground targets, too. It felt amazing. Like I was really tapping into something. That's one hell of a pilot! Woo! You know, Poe, that almost sounds like the force. Wait, is that how the force works? because I've gotten some conflicting reports on that. <laughs> nah, I don't have the Force Ray. I grew up with this tree... It's kind of complicated to explain. But if I had it, I think I'd know. Of course you have the Force, Poe. Uh, what? 
we all do. It's life's music, the song we make. I will never understand this. So, we are all getting to know each other. That's good. We need to know each other as well as we can. We're all we've got left. <sighs> I need to rest. I'm still not 100%. But soon, Captain Dameron, you and I need to have a conversation. Uh, right. Of course. Whenever you want, General. Good. I'll send for you. I'm going to go to. Want to check on Rose. See how she's doing. Oh, all right, Finn. See you soon. Great guy, that Finn. Saved my life. Yes, you told me. He saved mine, too. He's special. Uh, so, how about that stuff of Luke Skywalker? That was just... <laughs> Man, what are these things? They're all over the place. They're from Ark 2. Luke called them Porgs. They're adorable. Adorable, right. I better not find any of my X-Wing. Well, assuming I get another X-Wing. Anyway, thinking about Takadana. My only regret about that battle is that I wish we deployed sooner. We might have been able to save Maz's castle. That was a hell of a place. Do you know what happened to Maz? Is she... alright? She was kind to me. Gave me some good advice. Yeah, she's fine. Finn and I talked to her. She's out in the galaxy, doing her own thing. Didn't seem too bothered. Makes sense, though. You don't get to be a thousand years old without getting a few castles blown up under you. Anyway, we sent the First Order packing. I must have just missed you. I missed a lot. Starkiller base firing, the destruction of the Hosnian system. By the time you landed after the battle, I was already being tortured by Kylo Rin on his ship. He did that to me too! How about that? Torture buddies! <laughs> Torture buddies. Okay. Sure. But Starkiller, yeah. When that thing fired, we thought we were done. We didn't even know what Starkiller base was. We knew its location from the trajectory of the shots that destroyed Osnian, but that was it. Black Squadron had some incredible recon pilots. Though Snap Wexley, Kari Kun, Jess Pava, Leia ordered them to put together a mission plan. It got complicated. We all thought we were gonna die. We talked about it on the way there. But the job is the job. It is. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you. That's alright. You put in your time. No one would ever judge you. None of us would be here without you. The missions you flew? Yeah, you're a legend! That said, I wouldn't have minded, oh, a, a thousand more ships. This mission? This was a doozy. Twelve T-70s, twelve pilots, twelve astromechs. And they wanted us to blow up an entire planet! Normally, you need a Death Star for something like that, you know? I do. Ah, oh, well, yeah, <laughs> of course, sorry. Anyway, so we're flying up there, using a battle plan the officers threw together in about 10 seconds, with a fighter contingent way too small for the job, totally dependent on a tiny ground squad that was supposed to infiltrate the enemy base and deactivate their shield, which they could only pull off if the intel we'd gotten from a First Order turncoat turned out to be legit. We'll use the Force. That's not how the Force works. I mean, we all like Finn now, but back then he was just the guy that stole Poe's jacket. Let me guess, was Han Solo involved in all of this? Oh yeah, sure big ready. time. He had to do some insane maneuver with the Millennium Falcon, dropping it out of light speed inside the planet shield. Guy was a maniac! True, but one of the best maniacs. If any of that didn't work, the whole resistance... <sighs> gone, just like Hosnian Prime. The idea was to take out a thermal oscillator built into the planet's superstructure. The Starkiller base drew power from its system's sun, and it had to store all that somewhere. Blow up the oscillator, all that energy gets released. Almost in range! At the target dead center! As many runs as we can get! And, of course, Starkiller was shielded, heavily defended, certain death to drop out of light speed within a few parsecs. Oh yeah, and all our bombers were off on another mission too. Fighters only. It was bad. We lost one almost immediately. 
Perillo with V8R in the Astromech slot. I didn't know him well, but I know people used to tease him about that name, like it was a bad omen. Just dumb superstition, but in this case... Uh, well, anyway, we were able to get in one bombing run on the oscillator, but it didn't make a dent. No damage. And then the ties came in. Lost another fighter. Red one. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I don't know who was flying it. And with everything that happened after, I didn't have a chance to look. The mission log is probably still back on Dakar, too. What's left of it? I feel terrible about that, not knowing their names. I'm going to find out, and I'll make sure they're both added to the Rolls of Honor. Although, I wonder if I'll get a chance. The odds of the Resistance surviving even another week are like... Listen, listen to me. That's part of it. Losses. Death. But there's another part, too. Choice. Despair or hope. Don't choose despair. Leia Organa's running the show. As long as she's here, there's hope. After that first pass on the oscillator failed, we moved up into orbit. More room to maneuver, and a chance to get some distance from their fixed defenses. And maybe a chance to escape if it all went to hell. I'll tell ya, it seemed like we were already there. But then, finally, a little luck. Black Leader, there's a brand new hole in that oscillator. Looks like our friends got in. The maniac came through, eh? They usually did. The more impossible, the better, it seemed. Especially if you had Chewbacca along. Yeah, but not just them. Finn, too. And Ray. Sure, plenty of heroes to go around. Ray's really something, by the way. I've seen some things in my time, and she's... Yeah, something's gonna happen there. Let's hope so, right? We could use a little something after Crate. So, with the oscillator blown, Poe had a way in. And he took it. Called for Red 4 and Red 6 to cover him, and down he went. No hesitation. You want to talk about your heroes? There's a hero. Poe Dameron. Man, oh man. The other fighters kept the ties busy, and then... Poe did what he does. Couple shots and boom! No, I make it sound easy. It wasn't. We weren't done taking losses. Hello Asti and XALX. Hello Calder XLX. Red 6. Ah, Red 6. Tough call sign. We lost a Red 6 at the first Death Star battle too. Jack Porkins and R5D8. That wasn't all. Pillars Ven and BRBA, Blue 4, Sarah Belsonen's P499, Red 2, but we killed the Star Killer, and the Resistance lived to fight another day. Our job's done here. Let's go home. 12 went to Star Killer, and 7 came back. Thank you for telling me all this. I know it can be hard to talk about, but war stories are important. These things can't just pass into the night. I sometimes think it's my destiny. To see things, to be present, to witness the galaxy moving, evolving. It happens to me over and over again. But even so, I can't see everything. And so, I like hearing the stories, recording them. Stories are- Would you two please stop blathering, or at least do it on a closed circuit so we don't all have to hear you? Such a depressing subject, too. Seven came back? My goodness. I am involved in a very important project, and you are making it extremely difficult to concentrate. Well, I never... Don't worry, Miss Ray. I dealt with those silly droids. They won't bother us any further. Now, where were we? This passage here, 3PO. Ah, yes. I must say, these old Jedi texts are extremely ancient. The languages used are unusual, to say the least. Can you read it? To a degree. I wouldn't rely on this translation for diplomatic purposes, but it seems to say something like, The Force is the light, the Force is the dark. Jedi choose the light for all it reveals. Ah. Oh. You know, I like that. Seems like a lovely place to begin. How's Rose doing, Finn? She's asleep, Poe. I think that's probably good. But really, I have no idea. I'm not a doctor. Stormtroopers get first aid training. Battlefield stuff. But not much. We're pretty, uh, expendable. 
I think the idea was that any trooper who wasn't a good enough soldier to keep from getting wounded deserved to die anyway. But that's insane! Welcome to the First Order. I'm sure she'll be alright. You're sure? You can't know Rose will be okay. How can you be sure of anything anymore? Yeah, well, you're right. I can't be sure Rose will be okay. Just like I can't be sure we'll get through this. Or that the First Order's gonna lose or any of the other things we need to happen will ever happen. But I sure can choose to believe it. You're the only guy I know who could say that and not sound completely crazy. Anyway, can I ask you about something else? Fire away, pal. Okay. I have this big blank spot between Starkiller Base and waking up on the Rattus in the back of the suit. Last thing I remember before that was being in a lightsaber fight with Kylo Ren. I gather we managed to blow up Starkiller, which I actually thought was impossible. But how did the Resistance go from there to losing Dakar and the whole fleet running for its life from the First Order? I mean, I thought we beat them. Finn, buddy, so did I. The destruction of Hosnian Prime was just an opening move for the First Order. You need to reach out to our allies to gather help before Snoke consolidates his power across the galaxy. This mission is crucial. It's possible that no one else on this base will survive the day. But if you four succeed, the Resistance will live. And the rest, I think you know. Actually, no. I don't. What happened with Black Squadron? Did their mission succeed? Did they find us some help? Well, we didn't get an answer to the distress call we sent on Crate, and that suggests they didn't have any luck drumming up allies. Hard to be sure. But you sure do choose to believe it, right? I mean, that's the Poe Dameron way. Excuse the interruption, but I thought you would want to know that one of our relay stations just beamed in a transmission. Sir, it's from your colleagues in Black Squadron. What? Come on. You're kidding me. See? what I tell you, Finn? You just gotta have a little faith, you know? Guess so. Sir, far be it from me to temper your excitement, but, uh... What? What is it? 3PO? Spit it out, pal! I... Well, perhaps you should just listen to this message. It's not exactly what you would call good news. This is Jessica Pava of the Resistance Black Squadron, current pilot designation Black 3. I'm flying an income free tech T-70 with astromech support from Unit 6G-66, aka Sixer. Sixer is less than thrilled about that, but there's no way I'm flying this mission without an onboard astromech. It's just too important. Pause playback, BB. We 3PO, tell me I'm not watching Jess's last words here. If this ends in a fireball, I'm not sure I could take it. Yes, Captain Dameron, of course. This recording was received by a Resistance Communications node near First Order Space and relayed onward to us. The message is incomplete, and the relay node has since ceased to operate. We believe the First Order detected our commsat and destroyed it. So what does that mean? Come on, 3PO, enough with the protocol! Just lay it out! Good news or bad, I need to hear it. This transmission seems to be a flight log recorded by Jessica Pava during the mission assigned to Black Squadron by General Organa. The event she describes occurred simultaneously with the Resistance flight from Dakar. The, uh, reduction in personnel suffered thereafter and the Battle of Crate. The log includes detail pertaining to the survival of the Resistance and our strategic planning. General Organa requested that you, as one of our few remaining military commanders, view it. But, as I mentioned... It's incomplete. So I'm gonna watch this, and it's gonna cut off, and I'll have no idea whether some of my closest friends in the galaxy are alive or dead. Yes, sir. I'm afraid so. <sighs> Play it, pal. Wow! Have to make this work. The entire resistance is depending on us. I mean, assuming there still is a resistance. We have no idea whether our friends are alive or dead. We've gotten no transmissions and zero reply to our attempts to check in with Dekar. But I'm going to record this and send it and keep on with the mission. For Black Squadron, that's what we do. So, the mission. Only thing we were missing was Poe. He stayed behind. 
had some insane plan to take on three Star Destroyers all by himself to buy time for the evacuation. Crazy, obviously. But then again, Poe Dammer's the best pilot in the galaxy. Just ask him. <laughs> this is Jess Pava of Resistance Black Squadron. Pilot designation Black 3. It's the first chance I've had to update my mission log since the disaster on Pastoria. I'll be honest, morale was pretty low. Snap Wexler was commanding the mission, and he was doing what he could to help. But he wasn't getting very far. Anyway, we dropped out of hyperspace not far from Ikrek and immediately picked up a distress call. The signal wasn't clear at first. Captain Deberon! Captain Deberon! Pause playback, BB. What's up, 3PO? Let me guess. The First Order secretly built a second Star Killer and blew up ten more planets. Oh no, Captain. Nothing so dire. This is good news, for a change. Uh, we've received a new message from your colleagues in Black Squadron, sent through a secondary relay node. It's encrypted and a bit garbled. I'm working to decode it, but it will take some time, I'm afraid. 3PO, that's fantastic! Thank you! Still gotta finish listening to this one. But that's great news. BB, run it back a bit, then resume playback. <sighs> It'll be a lot easier to listen to this, now that I know it doesn't end in an explosion. Picked up a distress call. Now, if you're hearing this, you know I made it to the ground. I didn't crash, but I didn't exactly land, either. It was sort of in between. There you go. Well done, Jess. Chris and her team from Grail City met us. Seemed like good people. We'll take us into the command center of the defense grid. They're gearing up, which gave me a minute to record this. Snap and Kare are still holding their own outside the shield, but we need to get this done now. I'll send another report as soon as I can. This is Jessica Pava of Black Squadron. Over and out. That it, pal? Okay. Well, we know she made it through because we got the other message from her. Just need to get that decryption from... I have it, Captain Dameron. Just finished. I'm dreadfully sorry it took me so long. The original signal was really quite corrupted. I didn't even take time to listen to it. I was sure you'd want to hear about Black Squadron's success as soon as possible. Thanks, 3PO. You're right. I think we're all about due for some good news. This is... This is Jessica Pava of Black Squadron. Oh my! This is... Oh no, Jess! I'm sending this from... Ruck. We were trying to defend grid to first order. It's all it's 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 all gone wrong. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there was a pilot. His name was Poe. And we will miss him when he goes. General Organa, please! You have to let me save them! Poe, listen to me. The Resistance is pretty much just the dozen or so people on this ship. We did some damage to the First Order, but they still have an immense military, and every passing moment strengthens their hold on the galaxy. All the more reason to go rescue Black Squadron, General! No. It's all the more reason to be certain every decision I make now is perfect. If I make one mistake, it's all over. Of course I want those pilots back. Snap, Jess, and the others have been crucial to more missions than I can count. More importantly, they're my friends. But they're also professionals. Soldiers. They know the risks. Are they worth sending a rescue mission to Ikrok that could cost us the Millennium Falcon and everyone on it? Ray, Chewbacca, you? Me. I have to weigh four skilled pilots against the entire resistance. I want them, but I have to decide if we need them. There's no decision to make, General. Black Squadron is the resistance. I know you need me to be more than just a fighter pilot. You want me to lead, and leadership means making the hard choices. I get it. But I am a pilot. And there's something we say to each other. One of the most important things. No one gets left behind. Yes, Poe, you're a pilot. 
and I'm an old woman who has to rally a galaxy against impossible odds. For the third time. General, this is how you do it! You think the First Order would go rescue four pilots? Hell no! And that's everything the Resistance stands for! We won't just tell the rest of the galaxy who we are, General. We'll show them. Join the Resistance, and no one gets left behind. Po, po, po. Fine. You have my authorization. But you can't take the Falcon. Find another way. May the Force be with you. Commander Dameron. Commander? Commander. But this time, don't blow it. Babe, so do you. I'll pick off yours if you get mine. <laughs> Deal. But this is... This, this is a nightmare. They must have sent the entire Third Order TIE flight against us. Yeah, but that's the plan. If they're fighting us, they're not hitting the shield, Carrie. If we buy Jess and Suralinda enough time, they'll get the ground defense array back online, and then we're golden. I know the plan, Snap. But I'm out of torpedoes and getting light on fuel. Who's supposed to buy time? But we're running out of credit. Come on, Sir Linda. You need to wake up now. Ah. I don't want to wake up, Jess. Those deluded idiots shot a hole in for me. I know. But they're coming back. And... And the First Order's still bombarding the city shield. Just a matter of time until they're through. We're down. Our first assault on the control center failed. We don't know what happened to Grist and our other allies, but we can't stop. I... I don't know. It's just the two of us. And we're not at full strength. I just don't know if we can do this. I know, Sarah. Everything hurts. I'm not saying it will be easy, but there's something you should think about. As a journalist, this is everything you hoped it would be, right? A final stand. Two lone heroes doing everything they can to save a city, which will save a planet, which will save a galaxy. Yeah. Hell of a story. Right. So if we just lie down and die down here, who do you think will get to write that story? Probably some heck. Exactly. Okay. Let's do this. For the story. Good. Because like I said... They're coming back. Stay alert! One of them was wounded. They couldn't have gone far. If we can report back to the First Order that we killed two Resistance fighters, could be very good for us. Blast it. They're blocking the way. Can't get past. This is good, actually. In what possible way is this good, Jess? They divided their forces. Sent some after us. Probably sent some after Grist and her team. And maybe just left a skeleton crew guarding the defense grid controls. They should have dug in, waited for the First Order to bring down the shield. But they wanted to hunt us down, get the credit for the kill. <laughs> that was dumb. Unless they actually do kill us. Well, yeah. But if we can get past them, getting to the control room and reactivating the city's cannons should be a snap. Just not sure how to do that. And with those shields they've got. I know how. But... It won't be pretty. Why am I not in bed, Pava? Carrie, I'm running out of moves here. I shoot one down, five more show up. And I just used my last torpedo. Here's a move. We're getting close to the cruiser. Hug its surface as tight as we can. Sometimes I might think twice about shooting us down when our reactor explosions could damage their capital ship. What? Get you, Carrie. Even if it works, we'll be sitting ducks for the cruiser's point defense cannon. There was no torpedoes we can't even make a dent in them. One problem at a time, darling. They're here! Shoot to kill! What? Wait me! Hey, boys! Look up! What in all the... Hey, boys. <laughs> that cannon took out my port stabilizer, Snap. Can you maneuver? No. I'm locked on this heading. Weapons are out, too. BDBD's working on it, but it'll take a second. You don't have a second, Kare. My systems are telling me the cruiser's cannons have a firing solution for you. They're locked on. I can see that. I'm doing the best I can. Whatever happens, love. 
too blind. You can still complete the mission. Oh, man. Harry! <laughs> Get it off! Get it off! Yes, now! On it. Nice shooting. Nice, uh, spitting. Ugh, their faces. I told you it wouldn't be pretty. So, now we save the city, yeah? And the planet. And the galaxy. No! Tara, you okay? How did you take out that turret? Did you find a spare torpedo? <gasps> it wasn't me, Snap. My weapons are still offline. What? Then who was it? Black Squadron, this is Black Leader, reporting for duty. You miss me? Who in blazes is that? The new Starfighter. It's hailing us, sir. Put it through, Lieutenant. This is Colonel Barut. If you wanted to negotiate, you poor doomed fool, the time for that was before you attacked a First Order vessel. Not looking to negotiate. Just thought I'd introduce myself. Name's Poe Dameron. Commander Poe Dameron. Oh no. Poe Dameron is dead, along with the rest of the resistance at the car. We have the reports. Now, whoever you are. Sorry, Colonel, but your people lied to you. I'm not dead, and neither is the resistance. Snow <laughs> And his black ship and about 20 other Star Destroyers and... Oh yeah, a dreadnought. Well... We got rid of all that. Guess you didn't hear. If that's true, who commands the First Order? He didn't say anything about Hux, perhaps? You idiots! He's lying! He has to be lying! Now destroy that ship! Oh! How are you here? Did you bring the rest of the fleet? And what is that ship? Time for all that later, Snap. Right now, we need to deal with this cruiser. I have a plan. Kare, you have maneuvering back? Roger that, Blackleader. Full control is stored, but my weapons are still down. It's all right. I just need you both to fly. I'll send a set of maneuvers. You're going to pull up off that cruiser and follow them exactly. But the ties will be all over it. That, my friend, is the idea. Transmitting flight path. Enemy fighters incoming! A notice, darling. Didn't you hear? Apparently, for some insane reason known only to our fearless leader, that's the idea. That's it. That's it. Perfect! Damage report! I need a damage report! They... they bombed us for our own fighters. Colonel, the shield over Grail City has gone down. It happened very quickly. It still had 18% strength. So I'm not sure if we did it or... Uh oh, but bomb again, it's still online! Yes, sir. Fully functional. Then fire! Destroy that city! Fire! Fire! Fire. Black Squadron reunited! Love it! Thanks to you, Poe. No. Thanks to Black Squadron. We all did this. And we'll do it again. As many times as it takes. Poe, what is this ship? It's got style. No doubt about it. But where's Black One? It's a loner. From Gracchus the Hut, if you can believe it. He's about the only person who will take our calls right now. He collects ships, all kinds of stuff. I have to give it back, but it came in handy here. Pretty sweet ride. As far as why, well, Black One's gone. Along with a lot of other ships. What do you mean? Where's the rest of the fleet? Kare, I... How can we ever thank you? You saved this city and this world. This is Prime Minister Grist, Igruk's leader. Grist, this is Poe Dameron. Ah, Poe Dameron. I've heard of you. You're the flyboy. 
among other things. Hopefully. You asked us how you can thank us. Well, it's no coincidence we're here. General Leia Organa sent us on a mission to gather allies for the Resistance. The First Order's attack on the Hosnian system was just the beginning. Every system needs to do their part to push them back. Yes. Seems pretty obvious, actually. We don't forget people who help us. The First Order will find no home in this sector. You have my word. Anything else we can do, we'll do. Speaking of which, who wants a drink? It's bad, isn't it? Whatever happened. I mean, whatever you're not telling us yet. Yes, yeah, Snap. It's bad. I'll tell you all the story, but not just yet. You almost died here, but you didn't. In fact, you won! You deserve a chance to enjoy it. You know? I've been thinking about all of this. Thinking about the fight? I don't think it's about heroes. I used to. Got that idea burned right out of me. It's not about Jedi, or the best pilots in the galaxy winning against impossible odds. It's not about saving the galaxy. It's about saving your galaxy. The one within your reach. You choose right over wrong. When it's dark, you try to bring some light. You end your journey knowing you made things brighter. If everyone made that choice, well, I think everyone can. Maybe they just need to see how you do it. I think that's the fight. We've lost a lot, almost everything, but we can still do what needs to be done. We can still win. In fact, in some ways, the resistance has just begun.